Hello everybody, I'm back. Um, I'm going to be starting her tarot session that I did and I'm going to read off what I got for her. Um, this is going to, to describe a lot of things that came up in her cold reading which makes sense for me because the money comes back up into this. That was a second validation for me so again that either means that coming from money or this was done for money. This was done for reasons of greed or or ulterior motives that for money. Even some can have money and still do something really bad to get more money. It's just people are greedy and sick and twisted. Um, it also speaks again about her being mistreated and things of that nature in such a way he kept her like on this I guess you could say for me it was like viewing her through glass and he kept her almost like locked in this glass and she it's like she wanted to and no I don't mean literally kept her in her glass in, in glass I mean it was like she experienced life through glass and she was really never he didn't allow her to do much he was just a very just a very mean person he was physically and mentally abusive towards her it was more for this is my wife but it's really just for show it's nothing more than that he didn't care about her he didn't love her um this man is very very cruel in nature and she was despite all that she was still a good soul and very loving and very kind and just very in <coughs> in all aspects i can't even explain it except for just to call her an angel she was very um to me it's like she was a holy person she was a very um She was just a very good person to where not too many of those kind of people exist anymore. So I'm going to read off the first card. Um, the first card was six of coins. This spoke of the wealthiness, the inheritance, the generosity, the debts paid. Now debts paid for me stood out. I'm not sure yet. I haven't gotten that far. It's just... When I do readings, I pick up on keywords that tells me ding ding. Like it's almost like a uh, keywords give me like um, pay attention. This is what you need to pay attention to. The second card pull was nine of cups. This was satisfaction of worldly desires, social, being very social, parties, entertainment, meeting new people. Now. <coughs> This makes me feel like this was the male in, 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 in the reading. This, because you obviously pull in, um, you always pull up, uh, you can pull up indiscretions. You can literally pull anything from a tarot session. But to me, that had to do with the husband because the key word was meet new people. And he liked parties. He liked ex just extravagant. He liked... He likes showing off, boasting. He was a very, uh, very petty person. His money spoke for him. It just didn't, uh, whatever. It is, to me, I get the, the, it's almost like a satisfaction to him. That word just came through satisfaction to boast and, and make it quite clear that he liked feeling and being like a boss figure. The third card was the moon card reversed. Um, the moon card is an emotional card. Um, the moon obviously is is uh, a reflection of us, of our, our uh, of our everyday lives, our emotions, our feelings. Um, except for when it's reversed, it's obviously uh, it's not so good. I'm just gonna say that. Um, hidden threats enemies secrets are going to be exposed so for me the exposure is this man
No one else may step into the reading right now. I'm only going to be doing Jennifer only. Only Jennifer, and I need anybody else to stay out of the reading so I can get accuracy, okay? <coughs> Not being rude, please just let me help this person out, okay? The fourth card is the Empress reverse. A lot of the cards were reversed. Uh, withering away through bounty and inaction, weakness and decision, indecision. Um, for me, that was, was her because inside she felt like she was dying uh, from depression and, 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 and as such, it's not the way she planned her life to be. She is a very loving person and nobody deserves that, especially not her. Um, inaction and weakness. Does that mean she's weak as a person? No, she just, she's the type of person that would try to see the good in anything and everyone, no matter how bad they were. The fifth card was Knight of Coins. This is him, because to me, this isn't her. A dull person who is pedantic, petty, and achieves very little. So to me, that's him. Or her. Or her. Whatever that means. <clears throat> the sixth card. Now this card. This is a card that validated my cold reading. Because when I pulled it, when I pull cards, I get uh, words, feelings, something that I'm supposed to zone into. And this is the card I zone into. King of Swords, man who is opinionated, very authoritative, perceptive, strong-willed, intelligent, uh, this was the, uh, the card that I pulled and, and I got like a sense of him keeping her in a way that made her die just a little bit more inside each day. He loved to control her, to make her feel less than. He liked to take a little piece of her each day and just throw it away like it didn't matter. Very, very controlling, very, very manipulative, very uh, <coughs> abusive. The seventh card, the world that is reversed. For me, this explains me even to me even more about her. She was a very a loving woman who shielded people. Uh, just and in her reading, she was surrounded by four angels. So to me, that is either four past loved ones, or to me, that represents almost like our children. Uh, she tried to make the world a better place, just for everything and everyone around her. She just truly had a heart of an angel. Truly, truly, truly. She was just, a, she's a very angelic figure to me. Can't get any closer to heaven meeting her. She's just that type of gold. Um, but obviously the occupants didn't like that. Um, the eighth card pulled, seven of cups reversed. Optimism wanting to believe the best may have confused with important issues, consider all possibilities the worst. She's the type of person that saw the good in everybody and didn't want the world to keep turning in a way that was going to keep her secluded. <coughs> um, just a very, very... Uh, She saw the world in a way that no matter what it was, she tried to make the best of it and tried to see the most positive aspect of it. And unfortunately got her killed. Two of Cups. Separation. 
ending of a relationship, which I'm sure that means whoever this male is, <clears throat> it was the ending of them and her, as in her and him. The last card for me, now, this card, I didn't pull a, de uh, a the death card, but when I pulled this card, I got death. And it just, the meaning and how I felt it was completely two different things. Something was very, very off about the last card. <coughs> Ace of coins reversed. Matrimony success, success can be lost very quickly, very easily. To me, that is lost love, lost of just all that is good, all that was good within her, and that day it died. The marriage, I don't think that it meant that. And that was the, uh, the tarot card reading. When I pulled those cards, the name Kyle had come through. Now, I don't know what Kyle means in her reading and who he is or, you know, what that pertains to. I just don't know yet. When I do her spirit session, I'm sure, you know, uh, I get the word Kyle and karma and the word cancer sign. Those are the three things that came up in this reading as I was reading the cards. So I wrote them down and I just figured I'd add them into the cold reading. So I'm going to be getting to the, uh, to the session with her, the spirit session. I'm hoping she isn't too tired to talk to me. I hope she can uh, bear with me and let me know on some things and let me tell her story. And hopefully we can get a key on where she is. There are some things I'm not going to state on here. Um, with all the moving around of the bodies and in, in, in videos and such, uh, like Savannah Spurlock, I think she would have been found a lot sooner. Um, but I also think that that was meant to be because she was found exactly in the directions of, of the word, the key words that were given. So you damned if you do, you damned if you don't. But at the end, it all makes sense. It all gets validated. Everything, you know, just everything just makes sense in the end in some way, shape or form. Whether it's a symbol, whether it's a name, whether it's a color or a phrase, anything just it all takes time and, and just, we have to work with each other and and just really, really uh, focus on the narrative. This isn't about, you know, views and all that. This is why I'm not on here like this. I literally do my work and then I come on here. Uh, this isn't for fun. I also, for some reason, got the symbol of a snake uh, dog. Um, Snake, dog, and a lion. Now, snake, to me, represents, you know, the slithering, sneaky ways. Um, the dog, I kept getting uh, a dog with, like, a muzzle, which means, for me, I represent it as he treated her as such and, and kept her quiet. And, and when she didn't want to be quiet anymore, he, he took that and he ran with it. The lion represents to me her soul. She is strong as a lion. And for me, <coughs> her representation of a lion, it represented her soul for me. So that's what I have so far for a tarot reading. Um, I'm going to be doing her spirit session in about 15 or 20 minutes. I'm hoping I can get this cough to come down um, before I start because I really hate coughing and talking at the same time. Um, I don't know why this keeps being mentioned. Okay. Karmatic journey. Unless she's stating his karmatic journey is coming. Um, falsehood. All right, sweetie. We're going to get to you, okay? So this is going to be the end of this video because I want to really get into the spirit session and start working with her so she can start telling me her story. And hopefully we can get a, 
uh, uh, you know, uh, we can we can pick up on some things and hopefully find where she is and, and bring another soul home. So, everybody, I will see you soon, and I will be back on here for Jennifer's spirit session.